the only thing I talk about is wanting to be on stage and wanting to perform and wanting to do it. And it was either that or nothing. Dua Lipa did it. At 14, she chose to follow her dreams in music, and eight years later, she has become the UK's most streamed woman on Spotify. Like, not even Adele. 2017 was probably the year when you fell in love with Dua, but before we get too far into 2018, let's break down nine shocking facts you didn't know about the expert on getting over your ex. Don't be his friend, you know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning. Preach. Now, let's rewind to her beginnings with fact number one. What do Dua and Justin Bieber have in common? What most singers share these days, that she started her career by posting her covers of other songs on YouTube. How did she have pipes that strong at such a young age? She was totally that kid in music class that made you want to hide under your desk. Speaking of covers, who's singing here? So tell my friends that I'll be over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I ask myself, what am I doing here? If you guessed Alessia Cara, that's not the right answer. This was just another hit cover by Dua, adding her own flair to Alessia Cara's single, Here. Moving on to fact number two, we need to talk about Dua's dad because we are all crushing on him. Not only is he hot and a certified fitty, but he's a rock musician in his own right. In fact, his now famous daughter revealed in an interview that she credits him for her music career because she spent her childhood listening to his music and developing her own passion for singing. Hashtag dad goals. Actually, that might be a little creepy because I think my goals with her dad might be a little differently than her goals with her dad. You get what I mean? And number three, before she was famous, she hustled with low paying jobs just like the rest of us. In fact, you may have been greeted by her as she showed you to your table at a London restaurant called La Bodega Negra, or maybe she was the hot girl manning the door of a club in Mayfair, England, preventing you from getting in. Quote, it was awful, not very nice at all. You have to be a very cold person to stand there and tell people they can't come in when it would be perfectly fine. When I had to turn away my friends because they were wearing trainers, I knew it wasn't the kind of place I wanted to work. Hey, we all have to start somewhere. Shocking fact number four, despite her Albanian heritage, the reason Dua was born in London was because her parents moved there after fleeing Kosovo along with millions of other Kosovans back when the civil war and ethnic cleansing was taking place under the barbaric regime in the 90s. My grandmother on my mom's side is from Bosnia, she said. I think because of that, my parents moved. There was just too much conflict, so they decided to move to London. But at age 11, little Dua and her mom and dad moved back to Kosovo. It didn't affect my family as much, but going to school with people who were very, very bad affected by the war who lost a lot of family members or their homes you really get an insight into the situation to find out how it affected some of my really good friends now is really sad and really awful and horrible war is just a really dark thing luckily Dua spoke Albanian and realized that she loved life in Kosovo actually better than in the UK quote it's way safer than London there was a sense of community and safeness everyone knows everyone in Kosovo especially in Pristina and everyone definitely knows Dua in Kosovo. The country is even more obsessed with her than we are, and she deserves all of that love. At number five, I bet you didn't know this one, Dua's given name actually means love in Albanian. Growing up, she hated her name, but like most things that you grow up hating about yourself, her name eventually grew on her. Plus, you don't need a stage name when you're already named Dua Lipa. I mean, imagine if her name was Michelle Smith. Uh-uh, would not have the same spark. At number six, Dua has a place in her heart for all female powerhouse singers, but one woman in particular will own her heart forever. What about us? What about all the broken happy ever after? Who isn't crazy about Pink? Uh, we totally share in your love affair. Now, though Pink is Dua's favorite artist, when asked if she had never become famous and was still doing musical covers, who would she cover now? Her answer was immediately Malibu by Miley Cyrus. Next to you, the sky is so blue. And 
And finally, the song that made her the viral sensation that she is now is the breakup anthem. But in a hilarious interview, when YouTube star Tyler Oakley asked Dua of all the rules in her song New Rules, which was the most important, her answer is pure gold. Which of the rules is the hardest, do you think, to follow? Rule number one is the hardest, because the second you pick up the phone, then you've got... You've, you've fallen for two, okay. three, and four, like it's yeah. gone. Here's a reminder of which is rule number one. One, don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. I hope you've enjoyed these fun facts on our new favorite girl, Dua Lipa. I love that name. Anyway, let me know which of these shocked you the most and who else you would like to see us do a video on. Follow me on my socials at Miriam Issa on Twitter and at Miriam underscore Issa on Insta. Also, make sure you click here for seven facts you definitely didn't know about Kendall Jenner. And remember guys, just like Britney once said on MTV, you think you know, but you have no idea. I'm Miriam Issa and see you guys next time.